Hello, my name is Amani. As we all join hands with the government in the fight against coronavirus, it is also good that we take note of things that can cause conflicts and unrest and hence interfering with this process. One is conflict sensitivity in evacuations and displacements. With reference to the prevention, protection and assistance to the internally displaced persons and affected communities act arbitrary displacement and evacuations of people or communities should be avoided at this time when we are fighting coronavirus pandemic availability of food and shelter is very essential second is conflict sensitivity in aid delivery it is advised that delivery and distribution of food supplies and crisis relief be handled through proper channels in the community in full light of existing conflict dynamics and fragilities in order to avoid violence as per the government directive through the Kenya COVID-19 Emergency Response Fund. Third is embracing equity and transparency. Crisis support funds and any other form of incentives both from the government and international community should be prudently utilized to address the needs of communities equitably based on the social economic effect of the coronavirus pandemic. Fourth, divisive narratives should be avoided at all costs. Discrimination of minority and vulnerable groups could be a major cause of conflict. Last but not least, building citizen state trust. Coronavirus crises should strengthen the social contract between the community and the state through timely emergency response, inclusivity, transparency, and upholding of national unity. This message has been brought to you by the Kenya Community Media Network in partnership with the German Agency for International Cooperation, GIZ, and Civil Peace Service, CPS.